Okay. Big homie want to look like a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. I wasn't in the ad right. because of... Uh, look, Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm-hmm. Pretty much everyone is aware that 50 Cent and Jay-Z have been at each other's throats for some time now, but it seems 50 has come out with some new details that Jay might not take too well. According to these details, Jay-Z might have been deceiving us about his sexuality all this time, and not just that, but his successful marriage to Beyonce might be nothing but a sham. Sit tight, things are about to get explosive. For decades, Fifth and C have had a long-standing beef, but the tension between them has been escalating lately. During a recent interview on Big Boy Neighborhood, Sen suggested that Jay-Z's appreciation for the gay painter Basquiat goes beyond the surface level. The rapper hinted that Jay-Z was enamored with the artist and that this could be seen as an indication of his sexual orientation. He, he, he image himself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie wanted to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. People had different reactions to Fifth's claims and many of them were pretty mixed. Some of them are right beside 50, like this user who wrote, I believe 50 when he talks. When they named Jay one of the best rappers of all time, I knew he was on the deal because it just ain't no way for real. And then there are others who don't believe these claims and call BS on them straight away. 50 Cent also says Jay-Z is trying to look gay like Basquiat, but his TV series has more gay scenes in TV history. I don't gaff about record sales, especially when the artist is Caucasian. This is America also rock and country music stations only play Eminem's music. New black raps, some other users who were neutral also joined in. According to them, the truth will always come to light. What you do in the dark comes to light, and it's getting brighter. During an interview, 50 Cent disclosed that he was initially offered the Pepsi advertisement. However, due to negative sentiments harbored by Jay-Z towards him, the opportunity did not materialize. I got the call before the, the ad went out. Yeah, I hope so. Because of... Uh... Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Mm -hmm. When the host, Big Boy, suggested that Jay-Z's grudge might have been the reason behind 50's exclusion from the advertisement, the rapper indirectly refuted the claim, citing the actual circumstances. They, they were saying the NFL has some issues with me mm -hmm. that um, I don't know what those issues are. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, What is the issue? It appears that Jay-Z did not want 50 Cent to be involved in the advertisement from the outset. However, this is not entirely accurate, as Nor revealed in a podcast with Snoopy that Jay-Z did not approve of 50 Cent's participation in the NFL halftime show. Nonetheless, Jay-Z was unable to take action because Eminem, a well-known white guy in the rap industry, refused to perform without 50 Cent. Down the line, Nor tried to clarify the vague statement asking, who is the white guy? Jimmy Iovine. And he said, no, Eminem called directly for 50 and he said I can't do it if I can't bring 50 with me. The fans hold the love and friendship that Eminem and 50 Cent have cultivated throughout their time in the industry in high esteem. That was beautiful of them, because that is his guy and you're supposed to pull your mellow up with you when things are big or otherwise. 50 would have done the same by M. But then 50 Cent decided to talk about it on social media saying, why did he say the white boy? Why didn't he say the biggest rap artist in the world? It seems that the friendship between Eminem and 50 Cent is still standing. Additionally, 50 Cent's claims hold some validity as Jay-Z has never concealed his admiration for the late American queer artist Jean Mitchell Basquiat. Beyoncé even presented him with a painting worth $35 million for his 53rd birthday, as Basquiat's artwork illuminated various social issues and is highly sought after, with some pieces fetching over $100 million. Beyoncé's response to her husband's recent admission of bisexuality is, as evident, Beyoncé has unequivocally rejected the notion of her husband being bisexual. However, this is not the first instance where 50 Cent has exposed a celebrity's closeted sexuality. Recall the controversial pictures he shared on social media years ago, insinuating that Diddy was in a homosexual relationship with Rick Ross. In the post, he wrote, I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right. The pictures in question are quite suggestive, depicting an intimate connection between the two celebrities. Fans are heavily convinced that Diddy is concealing his sexuality, with one even referencing his cryptic lyrics as evidence. I don't how Diddy can beat the gay allegations after that line you was more than my girl. We was like brothers. All night, we would play fight, undercovers cause what? Another added, Diddy is actually gay though and apparently F's a lot and isn't out yet so this picture isn't like the others. I definitely believe Diddy loves male hugs not related to brotherhood. He bit his bottom lip. However, during that incident, 50 Cent retracted his claims and removed the post after rethinking the situation. There was also commentary regarding Diddy's apparent lack of response to the rumors surrounding his sexuality. Diddy is definitely gay alum foul. I on no no grown straight man that's not gonna address a gay rumor that's been circulating for years. 
The rumors about his sexuality gained new heights when Diddy praised Lil Nas for his performance at BET Awards, which the young rapper ended with a passionate kiss. Diddy tweeted, Lil Nas X did back. Be fearless. The people seem to be on Sense side on this one too. Someone tweeted, Diddy as, we've knew that. There's a video of him when he gets to Rick Ross's house and judge for yourself. To each his own. And this one with Usher any slips and says Usher looking like why you saying all that for? Another person said Vanity Fair's cover which featured the rapper's new name Love, saying all the dots connect now. It all makes sense after seeing this cover. Lil Nas X did that. Be fearless, Divi. It appears that the former Puffy is preparing to come out as gay. And if that is not convincing enough, Diddy's own lyrics in his song Blood Orange are likely to sway you. In the song, he says, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved. But then I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that. You know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Personally, these lyrics seem rather dubious to me. Nevertheless, the public has shown considerable support for his potential coming out. Diddy, you will find the strength to be loved and love who you want. It doesn't matter who. His part hit home as someone who was closeted for the majority of my life so far, and while that may not be what he's getting at, it makes perfect sense. Good luck to him. We must also remember the occasion when Diddy behaved questionably at a party with Fabulous. I got Mr. Lee. What, yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, I like when you oh, when you're right scrambling here, right and here. scraping no, for no, no, shit. No, 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 no. Got... There is clear footage of Diddy drunkenly referring to Fabulous as Daddy, but Diddy has since denied ever being at a party with Fabulous. In a subsequent interview, the Bad Boy Records founder maintained that he had never really socialized with Fabulous. In response, Fabulous stated, "We partied for my birthday before. You came to my party." Later, during an interview with the Breakfast Club, Fab stated. He said something to me a long time ago at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what do you just say? Let me move, man, before I do something. You gone make me mess up the wedding. No, that's something a guy says to a girl. Diddy indirectly confessed to sleeping with Usher in a leaked interview with Kevin Hart. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's out. Not... Intriguingly, Diddy was inebriated on this occasion as well. It seems that Diddy becomes rather talkative when he's under the influence. According to fans, Fabulous declined Diddy's advances because he was well aware of Diddy's proclivities. When Puff wonders why Fabulous has never taken him up on his invite to really party, I do hide this as a prime example. Another added, yeah, Diddy is flat out telling Fab he wants to get with him and asking why it hasn't happened. And Fab is like, no, WTF, and you can see he's super uncomfortable and wanting to GTFO up there. Diddy sound like a woman asking a man why he hasn't called her. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.